shout out to Lindsay, I almost said Bates, um, I corrected myself just before I did though. Anyways, in the last episode we finished up Act 4, um, and yeah, we're going to start Act 5 this episode. Uh, we're going to start at that cutscene that I stopped before the last time. So we're going to get started here. I don't know what to expect, so. My first recording the last episode, I stopped here too. It's not possible. Alm is the Emperor's true son, which makes him the rightful successor to the Imperial throne. All this time, all the effort, what has it all been for? No, it isn't true. It can't be. I, I refuse to believe it. Nothing but lies. Lies! 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 Is that... an altar? How did I get here? What's happening? He me. Who are you? He me. You thirst for power. Call to me. Accept me unto your soul. That voice... Duma? Is it really you? Um. What? Lord Bakut! Renea. I've been looking all over for you. This is the last place I would have expected to find you. You always hated the faithful, after all. This is true, but then I had the throne snatched from under me by some magical heir. Applying the gods' mercies is what men do in hopeless situations, is it not? I didn't mean... Forgive me. I shouldn't have said anything. <sighs> Please don't despair so. Ohm seems a kind and generous man. I'm certain he'll treat you fair. And I'm to be content with that? <sighs> I wanted to beat him, Renea! To dispatch him and claim the throne! I wanted to make you my empress, and hold all Valentia in our palms together! But what of those dreams now? Even Raquel alone is now forever beyond my grasp. So I'm to live in this alms shadow? Throw myself upon his mercy? I would sooner an honorable death at the Executioner's Blade! Burkut! You mustn't say such things! I never... The truth is... I never wanted to be Empress. <sighs> what? To stand at your side is all I've ever desired. I don't care if you're the Emperor or a swineherd so long as we... Burkut? You... Too, Renea? What? Were you laughing along with them? The Rudolph, Masena, and all the rest? Watching me toil away while you knew I would never become Emperor? Was every kind word part of the act? Every smile an act of pity? Rakut, you're frightening me! Duma. Oh, ancient god, I call out to you now. Grant me the power to set this land to ruin, for good and all. Take of me what price you will. I care not anymore. <laughs> Lord Bakut! Lord Bakut? <laughs> who, who are you? What have you done to Lady Renea? <laughs> Did he kill her in his rage?
This voice actor plays that of an insane person really well. Grandfather, what's this door? It leads to the altar beneath Duma Tower. But know that it is a path not easily returned from. Prepare well before you enter. Okay, there's a memory prism here. So I'm gonna grab this. A moment, Prince Albine. I ask that you show Lord Burkut compassion. He weighed heavy on Emperor Rudolph's mind for many years. The Emperor knew that keeping the boy in ignorance could only bring him pain. And yet, the prospect of your being discovered was too great a risk. Still, Burkut was his nephew, and the same age as the son he parted with. So I beg leniency of you, if only to respect Emperor Rudolph's wishes. So, Alm is much older. I mean, unless Burkut's getting married to frickin' like 15 or 16. Which could happen, but it just doesn't seem likely. Okay, um, what is this? Uh, I don't know, I guess I can't check it right now. Alright, well, let's just move on. It leads to the altar beneath Duma Tower. But know that it is a path not easily returned from. There's no turning back beyond this point, are you prepared? No, I'm gonna save first. Just so I don't have to redo the cutscene if I have to reset the game or something. Blast it all! This place is crawling with terrors! So much for be gone to wherever you will, you damn useless priest! And what is that supposed to mean? You're not actually thinking of leaving Celica in there and running away! Did you hear me say anything about running away? Give me some credit here, you little snot! Stop flapping your jaws and focus on the fight! I'd prefer not to die here, if it's all the same to you two fools! I expected that we'd end up meeting up with the other squad. So let's save real quick, and let's get going. I mean, it makes sense that we're, we get Celica's group, because what's the point of charging them up? Because I, I suppose that... Whatever lies at the end of these corridors possesses a frightful yeah. aura. It sets the hairs on the back of my neck on end. He said that, I think, in the Gate of the Living. And here Not I that. Am. Terrified of him. This is not very creepy music. This is like, I don't know, it just seems like comical. <sighs> Hold up, everyone. What is it, Om? Someone's coming. <gasps> oh, is that gonna be. It's oh. Fernand! What? Uh oh. That voice. Oh. Clive? Fernand! I see another memory of prison. What's happened to you? Spare me your pity. I have none to blame for this but myself. Such trivialities matter not at this point. But you... You made it here. Then you truly intend to slay Duma? We do. For it was Emperor Rudolph's dying request. I see. Then he must have known of Duma's madness. Duma is mad? Oh yes. Duma is a god no longer. Merely an incarnation of the lust for power. You there. Om. Uh, yeah? That's me. Listen well. You must beware of Brakut. He... He's no longer... Uh, Fernand! Please, Om. Stop, Duma. I know I've no right to... Ask anything of you, but I beg it of you regardless. You're the only one who can end this. Let no one else be tainted by his madness. Let this tragedy end. I will. I swear, I will lay Duma to rest. Then I leave it to you. <clears throat> Fernand, are you all right? <laughs> Strange, isn't it? Me, begging boons of you. Not in the least. I still count myself among your friends. You always were too nice for your own good. Always so quick to pardon me. Along the way, I... 
I forgot how to ask for forgiveness. Fernand, please. I knew. I always knew. None of my misfortunes were anyone else's fault. Yet if the world is rotten, then who permitted it to be so? It's me. And no one else. I took anger better aimed at myself and turned it on the defenseless masses. I failed my duty as a nobleman. Enough, Fernand. You've suffered enough. You needn't flog yourself any further. Good. I am rather tired. Tired of despair. Tired of rage. But Clive, I'm glad I got to see you one last time. You were right. You chose the right king. You always were the friend I was proudest to. <gasps> Fernand? Fernand, no. Don't do this. Look at me, Fernand. Fernand! I simply won't accept this, Fernand. I insist you wake up this instant. We're all returning to Sophia together. Fernand? Fernand, say something! He's gone, Claire. He's gone. No. Oh, Fernand. <laughs> Are you two going to be all right? Yes. Grief will have its day, but it will not be this one. What about right Matilda? Now, let us do what we must. Lead the way, Alm. All right. I... Fernand, I wish I could have fought beside you in the army you created. At least now, your fight is over. Farewell. I realize Matilda is an optional unit. Rather, like, someone you didn't have to recruit, but I did. But I still think they should have given her some little lines for Fernand. So anyway, we'll take that memory prism. We have two of them now to look at. I think that's literally everything here. Alright, well, let's move on. Oh. Let's go. Oh, I didn't actually check and see who I was bringing. Ooh, this music! I actually really like that. Good job, Clive. Clive levels up, but he missed his attack. Ah. Tobin wants to make sure he dies. Never count Tobin out. You did you to bomb Tobin. I really I still love Tobin. That was all who said that. That that probably would make Tobin feel amazing had it. And uh, Tobin actually hear that. Because <laughs> every, like, most of the time he takes people out. Alm's got nothing on me! You are great. Alright, that was pretty simple. It's a good thing we actually have two, we have three healers technically, because Cliff is a healer also. So, anything in here? Guess, I guess it was just those specters. This music is really weird, because it's not, it's not even, like, it's supposed to be scary. What would be scary would be more ambient sounds. Let's go. Alright, good job, Alm. <laughs> Python taking no shit. <laughs> good job, Python. Leveled up to level 5. Faye levels up to level 4. Tobin equals best unit in game. There we go. Alm levels up from taking out the the Baron, dude. I forget what they're called. They're actually like our class of those guys are Barons, but there's like nothing in here. I expected there to be stuff like you know, there's normally crates and boxes and stuff to break. I don't know, not crates, but barrels and boxes. Barrels, pots, boxes. Ooh. Ooh! That statue. Mila? Is that really the Earth Mother? But how could the goddess have been turned to stone? 
Only the sacred blade can seal a divine dragon's power. Oh, never mind. These Look guys there. didn't learn it. The blade protruding from her forehead must be Falchion. But given that... Home? Home, is that you? Celica! You're safe! Oh, I'm so glad. Wait, are you alone? Where are the others? <sighs> ah, so this is Alm. Who are you? My name is Jeddah. I must thank you for disposing of Emperor Rudolph. Well then, Jeddah, enjoy your last moments. I'm here to put an end to you and Duma. I'll see Zofia restored to Celica. Oh, you can't! You mustn't! What? Why not? If Duma is gone, Regal's lands will turn as barren as Zofia's have. Even more people will starve. But, Celica, we can't let... And even if you wanted to stop Duma, you can't. Nothing can stop him now. Mela has chosen to seal Falchion away with her. What? But then... All this fighting... What was it even for? Father! Um... <laughs> Jeddah was lying. Oh, men on tease. You stand at the pinnacle of your respective kingdoms. The hour is come for the world of man to return to the gods' control. It is the dawn of an age of fear and chaos, cradled in Duma's shadow. We'll never let that happen. Rejoice, on Tees, for you have the honor of serving as its cornerstone. Celica? What is he talking about? I'm sorry, Om. This is the only way. There's no other choice. No, there is another choice. The girl will offer up her soul to quell the madness in Duma's heart. She does so for the sake of Regal and Zofia's people both. What? No! Celica, you can't! Tell me he's lying! I'm sorry, Om. Do not think me a monster. Except you are. I shall grant you the time for a farewell. But be quick about it. Celica! I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. This is crazy! You can't do this! I'm going to get you out of here! Just hold on! You don't understand, Om. I came here knowing what awaited me. What? Back on the island, I had a dream. A dream where something terrible happened to you. So I decided to petition Mila for the strength to protect you. Yet for all my travels, you still face terrible danger. And you were even forced to end your own father's life. I'd seen it all. I knew it was coming, but I couldn't change a thing. I failed to keep you safe, Om. That's not... Celica, none of what's happened is your fault. You're not to blame for any of it. But I won't lose you. I won't let any of you die. I don't want you to fight Duma. I don't want anyone to be hurt or killed. That's my only desire in this life. Celica! Then this is the only means I have of ensuring that comes to pass. So again, Om, I'm sorry. I wish it could have been different. I always have. I wish I could have gone home to the village and lived there with you. Celica, please wait! Celica! <laughs> Can't wait to cut his um, motherfucking head off. I don't wish to be vulgar, but... Well, what is the proper course of action for us now? Bulgur. Emperor Rudolph bade us defeat Duma. But Princess Antis asked us not to. We gotta do it. Have we come this far simply to reach an impasse and accept it? One thing seems abundantly clear as things now stand. The chances of Sophia's recovery are nearly extinguished. Yes. With Mila in her current state, there is little hope of change. No. But Selic is gonna take care of Mila and Duma for us, right? Are you serious, Tobin? You're just gonna sit around on your butt and let Celica die for us? What? No! I don't want that any more than you do. But what other choice do we have? There's nothing left we can do! 
<laughs> I'm not giving up. Huh? I'm not giving up on her. Every part of me, every fiber of my being says this is Because you're not an idiot. So we're going to take down Duma and bring Celica home safe. Sure, that all sounds fine and well. But how do we do that exactly? Fulgen. Consider your position, Alma. You're no longer just the leader of the Deliverance. You are to be Regal's next Emperor. You must set your personal feelings aside, no matter how difficult it may be. All of Valentia depends on you now. That must be what steers your decision. Fine. Then I decide to follow the will of the previous Emperor, Rudolph. Oh. Oh, come on! What's wrong with personal feelings? All of you fought this far because you hold some kind of hope for the world. It's man's individual hopes and fears that shape the world, that drive it. And that's how it should be. I truly believe that. Should we let the world crumble on a god's whim? Or his absence? You're right, of course. But... I don't want to lose anyone else I care about. I don't want to see anyone else lost because of Duma. Don't you feel the same, Clive? <sighs> Even if we escape from Duma's control, a starving people can know no peace. Villains and thieves will arise to feed on the weakest and most vulnerable. Are you prepared to inflict that upon the world? I will dedicate my life as Emperor to ensuring such a thing doesn't happen. And yes, I know as well as anyone that there will be losses along the way. I think I've learned that much by now. But when I think of the next thousand years, I don't want this. I want to leave behind a world where we shape our lives by our own hands. Where we make our own mistakes and fix them as many times as necessary. That's a world worthy of a future. So be it. If you have the determination to see it through, I'll not object. I am yours to command, Your Excellency. Count me in. I'm not living my life bowing to Duma and his little idiots. I'll take going hungry over that any day of the week. I... I'm just not sure. Tobin, I need you. Out of everybody, I need you. If it were just me, I would. But I have little brothers and sisters to think of. I will gladly take up a trowel and work the land with them. Wait, but you're a noble, Lucas. Such things will mean precious little in the world ahead of us. Myself, I refuse to be controlled by Duma or go hungry. If it means working the barren earth, then I shall do just that. And you won't do it alone. In truth, I've always been curious about farming. I'm sure we can reap or sow or whatever it is, enough to stay alive. Though I admit, I think all this talk of doom and gloom is entirely premature. Thank you. This is great, guys. Count me in, too. I'm pretty handy with a plow, actually. I'll show you guys how it's done. <laughs> An emperor plowing the fields? I never thought I'd see the day. See? Told you. Huh? It's gonna have faith. Mila's statue is glowing. What's going on here? Wasn't she sealed away? She... She's calling me. Alm? Let's go. Mila is calling to me. We might still be able to pull this off. We have to find a way to the altar. Man, I love this game. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where are you? Hey, come here. Come here. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, bah. Got her. <laughs> You're damn right. That's I was like, goodbye. These are the people in here aren't even very strong. Why? I don't know why I had Grey go all the way around, but I did. No, We're done! Tobin the God. I love him so much, man. <laughs> Goodbye. Every day a new lesson. I knew you could do it. Of course he could, he's Clive. I realized we should have had Claire. That'd have been good. <laughs> Goodbye. Get wrecked. You ready for Scythe? Finish off the fight. Farewell. 
Yes, he said it. Perfect. All right, level four for foresight. <laughs> I can... Best line in the game. I'm a foresight to be reckoned with. Swan, so I wonder if there's like actual items here, but we're just gonna find enemies. Oh, as I say that, I found the bra a, a brave sword. I think actually that's actually the first one on this freaking team, because I believe I had two on Salicas. I assume we're gonna get them for the final fight versus. Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. I think. Let's see what's over this way. Let's see which way is actually the right way. Okay, there's two different entrances. Maybe this one just leads to a certain a, a single place. You know what? We'll go here first. Let's see what happens here. I got lucky. All right, well, actually, it never mind. It is time on tease. Lord Duma is waiting. Not yet. Not before you've released Mila. That was the arrangement. I'm afraid that what you ask is beyond my ability. That's why you Mila never trust a little purple lizard man. Herself. We mortals have no say in the matter. You... you lied to me! If you are displeased, Princess, I suggest you point your ire at Mila. Lay blame upon the merciless goddess who forsook her Zophian children. Oh, the thing on the title screen was her head. How? How could you? Cease your lamentations and come along, girl. I'll send the boy to you shortly. That I can promise. No. You swore to leave him alone! <laughs> How hopeless a fool can you be? Rejoice, Lord Duma! I have brought the brand bearer who threatens your order! Take her soul unto you and feast! No! Stop! Let me go! Um, you better, better be ready to cut his head off. Ooh, such potent energy! <laughs> My Lord Duma is pleased! You needn't wait much longer. I shall offer up the other brand bearer's soul to you presently. <sighs> On teas. I declare you reborn as Duma's faithful pawn. Now go, fall into the darkest depths and rot with Miller below. Um, so did I go into the right place? Or what? I want to see what the other path takes me to, if this is the right one. Ha! 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 Yeah, it's definitely a good idea to attack Lucas. Good job, Mr. Weber. You're right. And Tobin levels up to level 6. 6. 8. <coughs> Best team. Hey! You know, I was talking about stuff earlier, and look what we found. An orange. It's just funny how you can find like butter. Butter and yogurt instead of just random crates and pots. Let's see. Fatigue. Okay, sure. We weren't really too bad on fatigue at the moment, so I'll take it for sure. Water or XP? Okay, so who needs XP? Silk. Na, da, 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 da. She learned to expel. Okay. She's gonna get the other one too, because why not? She's the only one at level four. I... 
Man, I want to go back and explore that other thing. There's, why are there so many different paths? Oh my gosh. I don't know what leads to things like... Can't be open from this side. Okay. Well, I'm going to go all the way back. Because I want to see what I missed at that other entrance. How about... Nah. Okay, here we go. I don't know what's over here. We're going to check. It's a very long room. There. It's him. Her coat. The other way was to Mila, then. Okay. <laughs> you kept me waiting, Om. Or should I say, Your Excellency. Perhaps Emperor Rudolph II of Regal. Burkut, listen to Tell me, how does it feel to possess both Sophia and Regal? I imagine it's wonderful. Though it's a sensation I'll never know. This isn't a conquest for me. I have no illusions the people of Regal will suddenly welcome me as their ruler. But my father placed this land in my care. And I'll do anything for it. Whatever it takes to keep Valentia's people safe. The path ahead is a difficult one for us all. So help us, Burkut. Lend us your strength. Regal's people trust and love you far more than me. You and I are cousins, after all. Family. I didn't think I had any family in this world. And yet, here you are. I know we can be close friends as well. Let's work together, Burkut. Put all we have toward ensuring all Valentia is... Silence. Um, what? Listen to you. Offering mercy and trite platitudes from on high. Work together. Us. Don't make me laugh. Strength isn't lent. It's taken. Pride from the grip of your dead foes. Yeah. What the... So this is what Fernand warned us about. Mom, Raccoon has taken Enduma's power. He's no longer the man we knew. No. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Poor Renea. to look at things. Are you accusing my father of betraying you? You're wrong. He loved you. He worried about you to the last. You knew him so much better than I did. How can you not see that? Silence! I'm tired of listening to your pretty little lies. It's time, Renee. Come with me. We'll hold our wedding but Tom Pace's funeral. Burkut! Well, so you fucking killed her, so you can't really do that. Alright, we have a couple fiends, and a few Doom of Faith, uh, two, a couple Arcanists. Ah, oh, god, one has death. Of course it does. Crime Hill. Lancet came at a price. He's gonna be difficult. And I hate dread fighters. Fighting dread fighters is so difficult. Okay, Python gonna do a good amount of damage, provided he hits the thing. Never mind. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm not really sure what I want to do. She used Fortify. Come on, dodge, Lucas. Thank you. Once again. Ow. What? 
Python. <laughs> All right, a powerful three damage. <laughs> Almost should do more, I think, because Excalibur is a more powerful weapon. Hey, he's gonna level up too. All right. Yeah, you're gonna go for poor Python. Okay. Fuck you, man. And there goes Python. That's great way to start. Man. It would be so great to have Python to attack Renea. That'd literally be the best. Can you even move? He can't. Good. Okay. I need you to kill this guy, Forsyth. Well. That's not good. I'm gonna basically have to restart everything if we lose here. I didn't know what to expect. I couldn't do anything. I need you to just take one out, Lucas. Thank you. This is farewell. <sighs> it's gonna be level four for Lucas. So, but if you could crit, you would be little. Ah, uh, man, I would really shoot. See if I can crit with Excalibur. Thank you. Oh, uh, you're not gonna do enough now, but. Son of a gun, he's gonna level up to level 5, but... He learned Aura. Okay. This is literally gonna suck. Alright, please just kill this guy. Okay, there you go. I actually really regret not healing out Foresight. With Psychic. Physic. Whatever. I... I mean... Okay, it's... Hold on. Hold on. I've... I forgot about- I haven't used the turn wheel at all this playthrough, so we're literally going back to the beginning of the fight. There we go. Okay. So what I want to- what I wanted to do there, I, I forgot completely about the turn wheel. I, like, never used it to begin with. So, I really needed Python to not die when he did. I really should have healed up some of our units, some of our- I mean, the armored units when we had the chance. I'm gonna put you right there. So I'm gonna have you guys here. Because I love, if I could, literally, if I could get rid of Renea, that'd be amazing. And it, as I said, it re-rolls using the turn wheel. So it, that is kind of lucky when it comes to that sense. So like the attack for Forsyth or, uh, what's his name, Python would be better. So this turn has already turned out a lot better. Well, except for Clive missing both of his attacks, but he'll be okay. You're gonna summon witches. Those guys are gonna move that way. Alright. Now, since you dodge, if you could take out this one... If you could take out the Arcanist. Dodge, please. Nope. Okay. Well, you took him out. That's actually, like, super, super good. Very nice. That's what we needed. If I can get... If Forsyth and... Uh, Tobin can take out the other guys. Alright, Tobin, I need a crit. Like, really badly. He's not, it's not even actually gonna kill it. So, alright, like, a couple crits would be really nice on him. Just do a ton of damage to this guy. Okay. 12 damage is dealable. It's a good thing I have so many cogs. I literally have, like, used none of them. Okay. Can you kill this thing? You can actually do a decent amount to those guys. Alright. Hit. Thank you. Beautiful. Oh, wait. Does that he count as a flyer? He's a flyer. Oh, nice. That's why he does so much damage. Okay, so I'd like to be able to use magic on these guys because they do have lower resistance. Come on, Cliff. 39% chance to hit. To, clit, to crit. Gosh dang it. Okay, good chunk of damage. That's at this point is all we can hope for. If Gray can crit, like Gray, you would be the savior if you could crit right now. Okay. I think we should be okay, though. In all honesty, for another turn. 
All right, I'm gonna see if I can draw the attacks to him and not Lucas. I'm gonna go behind here and I'm going to heal up Lucas, just in case. Hang in there, Lucas. Thank you. Okay, Meyer does less, but it's still, oh my God. Okay, at least you're not close enough. Dude. I don't know if I have enough magic resistance on this team. You're not taking me seriously. Okay, not bad, Forsyth. Not Thank you. Thank you. Okay. One more attack from Cliff will actually take down that dude. Or, I keep calling him Cliff. I did that in the last episode, too. Oh no. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you. Three damage, that's horse shit. Alright, Coban, I actually really need you to take this guy out. Fuck. Silk level's up to level five. Okay, these magic users need to go. Please dodge, Lucas. Thank you. Oh, Lucas, you are the bomb. Okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. That makes things so much better. Because I can use some anyone else to attack that. Because I don't want to do that. I want to save. I want to save Clive. I want to save his health now. Because we only have the one healer, and I already used her. I guess we still do have what's his name. Okay. Currently, the Morgal is in Mogal isn't even a big deal. Oh, he's pinned in a corner. Oh shoot. Oh no. Can you take him out, Gray? Yes. I need you to I need you to take this dude down to save Python. Cause I'd love if Python could take down Renea. Cause if he could, then that would give us that would open things up. Wait, why do you do hold on, why do you diminish my attack so my What? Increases hit and evasion rate. Really? Wow. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I mean... Shit. Alright, Cliff, if you could crit... Thank you. Alright, this guy's gone. Beautiful. Okay, the fiends are dead. I will agree. I don't know what you were going to say, but I agree. Okay, you're gone. Who else do we have left to move? We have Cliff, Clive, and Python. Okay, can you kill one of these? You can. They're only level 1, so they're not even that big of a deal. You can also kill that guy, but we don't need to right now. I'm gonna let you kill this, this one. Please hit, please hit, please hit, Python. Thank you. Okay, good. Clive, you make me so angry. I might even... Well, we can't- we only have one healer now! Is she- Man... Worse. Such bull. Okay, I can deal with you actually going for Python. That's not a big deal. Because it should kill. Yeah, there we go. That's actually great. That's great that Python was able to do that. Hang in there, Gray. Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna have to redo. Yeah. I can't I can't lose those two units. Oh my god. How many cogs left do I have? I have seven. Alright, I need you with more health. I need you to hit. First time. Thank you. Okay. Hopefully that should make things a little better. Because now we have Clive with much more health. And if y'all can just not obliterate great that'd be amazing stop going for gray oh my gosh gray thank you oh no good he didn't need it gray. I love gray so much okay that was super clutch stop spawning so what is the goal do I have to route the enemy Damn it, man. 
The issue is all the fighting is going on over here. The path is open directly to Renea. So if I could get... Okay, Greg, you need to flee because I need you to survive. I wish you were freaking better, Silk. I could use Cliff to heal him up. Because how much damage can you do to him? Literally nothing. God, that's so stupid. Four damage, but you have a max of 12. I think I think I just gotta make you heal up Gray. I think at this moment that's most important. Okay, Gray's gonna crit. Not Gray. Alm's gonna crit. Now the goal is to be able to take all the units that are susceptible to a ton of damage or death away. So how much Look at that's so crap, bro. Okay, we'll see what happens with this. It's a ranged weapon. You took everything from me. You will suffer for what you've done. Okay, Python survives but kills the dude. Come on, Python, if you could... Fuck, I'm gonna have to reset. I need Python. I really need him. Oh my god, Renea. F off, bro. Oh, he just moved... Tobin. Okay, good. This guy's gonna be gone. We don't have to really worry about him anymore. I mean, we didn't have to in the first place. It wasn't doing much. Please dodge, Tobin. Okay, he took two damage. That's fine. Alright, Tobin, 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 please, Tobin. Son, I can't lose Tobin either. I'll see what I can do, actually, because you have a decent chance. I have to go for it. No, I can't. Like, that's such crap, bro. All right, go for it, Python. See what? Like, if I have 44% chance to hit, how am I supposed to hit it? Why do I keep saying it? How am I supposed to hit it? Right, let's go. Fuck it, I, I said it again. Wow. Please here. kill it. Thank you. Okay. We'll see what happens. Because I'm not expecting anything too favorable. Okay, Tobin has a 62% chance to crit. Or hit. Man, I don't even know. Why do we have no chance? But why does Wildfire... But what does that lower... But what does that lower the crit chance? That doesn't make sense. It shouldn't lower the crit chance. I understand lowering hit ratio. Frick it. Go for it, Gray. That right there. That's crap. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna restart the beginning of the, of the game. Okay, that turn actually went really well. I didn't- I skipped through the entirety of it because I didn't want to see it. But... Forsyth? Nope. He's gonna crit. He's gonna kill the death dude. That's great. It's a great start. Alright, Lucas is now full health. And I don't have to waste a turn of healing on him, which is great. I'll have to use one on Forsyth, but that's awesome. Alright, Python's gonna get to come up here. <sighs> I have to do it. Woo, Python! Now, if you can... If you could litter... Why? Okay. <sighs> That's the third time he's done that same thing. And he hasn't crit either of them. Clive, if you could be a doll and crit... I guess it doesn't matter anyway when it killed him. The point is I want you to get around here and to attack the magic dude. Take this. Two crits and this guy is completely gone. Shit. We talk about this? 75% and he misses. Let's just skip. Ow. And Python got warped to her and died. And she is full health again. This fight is bullshit. 
I really don't want to have to restart the entire thing, but I'm gonna have to. Gray, Gray, please be my savior. Please be my savior. Okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Then I need you to crit. Come on, Cliff. Seriously. Seriously, my voice. What's even the point? Yeah. I'm just gonna have to lose. Because there's not. I can't. I, can't, I don't have the right squad for this, man. Alright, so in the next episode, we're gonna go back and see if we can beat Berku. Because that's. That's stupid. Stupid difficult, because Renea is overly overpowered, and the fact that they have this ability that not only lowers hit rate, it lowers crit chance. It's crap. So I have literally no chance of critting them. It's uh, it's almost impossibly difficult. So, I'm just going to try and beat, and we'll see what happens. So thanks so much for watching.